I spent 100 days with the Click and Grow Smart Garden, a pod-based approach to growing your own plants with zero effort. So I'll show you my overall thoughts over these first 100 days and whether it's actually a practical approach to replacing your produce shopping. So I grow a lot of plants, all of which are surviving in my home, but when it comes to spices, vegetables, or anything else, they immediately die. So that's when I started looking up smart gardens, something that I could grow on autopilot or at least as close to autopilot as possible. So the system is made of a planter that holds all of your pods, a grow light, and a base that you can fill with water to allow it to water for up to a week. But of course, that's gonna vary with the plants that you're growing and how far along they actually are. I'll get to all of that a little bit later on. So in terms of plant growth, they come as a pre-seeded pod that contains a blend of soil, nutrients, and seeds that encourages even distribution of water. So it's not just like typical soil in a pod. The Smart Garden comes with a selection of pods and Click and Grow sent over another bulk pack for me to try out with my garden. So fun fact, I actually come from a family of farmers and I think this device is pretty much as close to my heritage that I'll ever get, but it's the same, right? This is the same as farming. So on day one, I assembled the Click and Grow and as you can see here, you set it up with the arms, which by the way, you can put extensions on to go even higher if you're growing something tall like tomatoes that you need to stake. Next, you add on the lamp to the top and just sliding it into place. There's quite a few packs that they sent over that I can try out here, including green lettuce and basil, which I'm most excited to try. We also have the red mini tomatoes. But if that's not enough, Click and Grow also sent over a fruit and veggie mix, which also includes chili peppers, yellow tomatoes, and wild strawberries. They also have a bunch of bundles that you can purchase from their site, including a brand new 30 pack that they just unveiled if you wanna bulk order anything. I'm starting with the basil because it's always the first to die for me when I actually try to grow it on my own. And I would imagine that this and the lettuce are some of their most popular pods. Let me know by the way, which of these pods that you would buy if you were getting the click and grow down in the comments now. So you can see that these are really just little soil pods that are seeded. These are the smart soil pods, which evenly distribute water through the pods and make sure that the plants have the correct pH level for optimal growth. They don't include pesticides, hormones, or anything harmful, so you're getting a lot more control over these plants than just going out and buying plants where you don't know how they were produced. The capsules are a simple plastic container that you put the pod into. It has a wick at the bottom, which essentially just absorbs water from the base up to the pod. And then once the pod is in the capsule, you place a clear dome over the plant until the plant actually sprouts and nearly touch the top, at which point you can remove it. So this is the Click and Grow 9 Pro, which has nine capsules. You can also get it in three, 25, and even 27 capsule configurations. They all have very similar functionality, except for the Pro, which I have here, includes a Bluetooth enabled lamp that connects with the Click and Grow app to set smart schedules for the lamp if you want it to turn on and off at set times. Otherwise, it's on an auto timer. You can also wave your hand along the top of the lamp to turn it on and off manually. The app is probably my favorite part about the Click and Grow and it's helped me learn the most about growing plants in general. So you can manually set up which plants you've added to the capsules as you can see here. The plants show a circle that fills in as your plants grow, letting you know how long until they're ready. If you click on a plant, you get details about it and helpful tips about how to actually make it grow. You get notifications throughout the life cycle as well about what the plant may need at this time, when to trim, when to pollinate, when to harvest, when it will taste the best, even if you don't know a lot about gardening, it is really gonna help you go from basic to expert in no time. I plan on doing a whole time lapse over my growth, but my hard drive actually got corrupt. So here's the first 21 days that I have of a time lapse. Obviously, some are gonna grow way faster than others. And the fastest here is the closest to the camera, which is the lettuce, taking a total of five to six weeks to grow. Now through the magic of editing, we'll jump ahead to five weeks when the lettuce is ready to harvest. Isn't farming just so easy when it's this fast? So it's been five weeks with the click and grow and the lettuce is ready to harvest. The basil is also starting to grow. The tomatoes are starting to sprout. The strawberries and peppers are not yet sprouted. The lettuce can be gradually harvested, working your way to the center, starting at about three weeks, working your way up to a max of five to six weeks. The app warns you all about this. We harvested nearly all of it and we made a salad and it was incredibly fresh and high quality. No difference to going out and actually buying lettuce at the store. Fast forward, the tomatoes were off to a slow start. At one point, I didn't even think it was going to grow, especially in comparison to that lettuce. But after about four months or 16 weeks, they grew rapidly. These grow really tall as well, so make sure that you're actually staking them so they continue to grow tall. Basil was the main reason I wanted the click and grow. It was a really great experience. Taking only five weeks to grow, it was the most consistent, never wilting throughout the growth. 
and the notifications let me know when it was actually time to harvest. Chili peppers are the only crop that actually didn't grow at all, and luckily, Click and Grow does guarantee that if your plants don't grow, they'll send you a replacement. So over the first 100 days, it was a really positive experience, but over this time, I actually got to know this product really well, so here's a Q&A segment to answer all of your questions. By the way, I do Q&As for all of my reviews over on Twitter, so if you want real-time engagement with me, follow Vittertech over there. Number one is the Click and Grow Hydroponic. So for those who don't know, a lot of smart gardens are hydroponic, which means the plant grows without soil, often in sand, gravel, or liquid. Click and Grow is not hydroponic. They do have seeds planted in real soil within the pods. Number two, how often did you fill the water tank? So I looked it up and Click and Grow quotes that you can go two to three weeks without filling the water tank in the base. And I would agree with that when you're first planting. But as the plants grew, I went from watering every two to three weeks to watering literally every three to four days. So it's gonna vary with how far along the growth is, but also what you're planting in combination. Number three, can Click and Grow grow your own seeds? So a Q&A on Amazon said you could try your own, but Click and Grow doesn't actually recommend it. They do, however, have an experimental soil pod that has the benefits of that smart soil, so it has the even water distribution, but you can still use your own seeds. Number four, after growth, are there any parts that you need to clean or replace? So the main thing I noticed here was that the roots can grow through the wick at the bottom of the pod. They say this is an occasional occurrence, but I found that six out of nine of my pods actually had this happen. So in that case, you can buy a bulk pack of wicks from Click and Grow, and I do recommend picking up a few of these packs prior to that first harvest. So after using the Click and Grow for 100 days and after all of the harvesting of my crops, would I recommend it? I would say definitely yes. I picked it up because I was having trouble growing a lot of my plants, especially basil, and with the low maintenance growth and the notification tips for how to actually grow it and harvest it, it really made it feel like it was gardening on autopilot. So if you're looking to grow a lot of herbs, I highly recommend the Click and Grow. If you're more interested in produce like lettuce, I would also recommend it, but instead of planting all of your pods at once, I would strategically plant them a few days after each other so that you have a steady supply of things like lettuce instead of them all just being ready all at once like I did. The one other consideration is your space because this lamp is gonna be on for a significant amount of time throughout your day and it's really insanely bright. If you have a pro model, it uses Bluetooth with an app and you can set a schedule. If you get another model, you have to plug it into the wall and it's automatically going to stay on for 16 hours and then eight hours of darkness. So definitely plan out where this is going in your house prior to purchasing and if you even have the room at all. If you do wanna get the click and grow, use the link in the description or the discount code VITERTECH10 at checkout Leave your comments down below if there's anything that I missed or anything that you're wondering about. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.